Hello, I'm Vanessa and I'm here to show you how to make your very own shadow theatre. And what you need for this is a box, the box that your things came in. You need one of these template sheets, two sheets of white paper, a paper plate, some stars and some little fabric pieces as well. So how we start is to get a box. Now it's a, a bit of the work has been done for you because it's been half cut at the front. So you need to just finish off the cutting to make your frame. I'm just going to do that now. Okay, I've just finished cutting out the frame. I'm going to keep this middle bit of cardboard because we're going to use that later for the landscape. Now what I'm going to do is just cut out the side supports. I'm going to cut along these lines here. Okay, so just cut out the side bit, and again, I'm going to keep the extra bits of cardboard for later. Okay, so with the frame, we're now going to cover it with a white sheet of paper to make our screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the actual frame. Not quite a lot, so it's really secure. And then I'm going to put the white sheet of paper directly on top of that frame. Okay. What we're going to do now is just going to hold the screen up with these side supports. I'm just going to sellotape those in position. Okay, so that's now upright. And with the extra bit of cardboard that came from the sides, these bits, we're going to make, we're going to cut out this shape here. So I'm going to use this as a template, so I'm going to cut this out. Just going to draw out, draw the outline of the template here. Okay, so I've just traced out the shape. Cut it out now. shapes now. I'm going to stick these to the top of the box. Being very careful to make sure that the um, circle is not below the line. It needs to be directly on top of the, the cardboard box there. So that's one, and that's two. 
moment. So what we're going to do now is going to make our second screen, which is a circular screen, and it's going to go on top of the box like that. So to start with, I'm going to get a plate and a sheet of paper, and I'm going to use the plate to, as a template to draw around. So I'm going to draw around the plate now. And then I'm going to cut out a paper circle. Right, so I've got my paper circle, and now I'm going to make my frame out of the paper plate. So I'm going to actually cut along this inner circle that's part of the plate. So I'm going to do that now. You might um, just be careful when you're putting your first mark in the, in the plate with the scissors. And I'm just going to cut along that line now. To the, the new frame that I've just formed. So I'm going to apply a lot of glue into the plate. And then I'm going to stick this paper inside. And the idea is just to press so that it's flat on the middle in the middle. created your second screen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach this to the top of the box. So I'm going to put some glue at the bottom of the circle of the circular plate. And you'll also probably need some sellotape as well. some sellotape as well to secure it. Now I'm going to secure it from the back so you won't see the sellotape from the front. So just pass it so you can see. So I'm just going to put little bits of sellotape there so that it's all in position. in place now. So now we're on to the next step. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a landscape for the shadow theatre and um, it's going to be made out of this inner bit of cardboard. So first of all I'm just going to do just a, a random kind of wavy line on the cardboard. And I'm going to cut out that shape. Also, um, use these little leaves to act like little trees in the landscape. Stick them down. And this landscape is going to be held in place at the back using the corners of this envelope. So, I'm going to cut off the corners. I'm just going to put some glue on them. Thank you. 
slots in the middle. And by having these little envelope corners, it means you can actually change your, your scenery. So you can make another, another strip and you can put different things attached to that as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is decorate the front of the theatre. We've got two little strips of fabric, which can be like little theatrical curtains at the front. And you've got some stars just to put at the top. So I'm just going to quickly do that. stars on the top. You can also draw on this box as well if you want. And what I did as well is I'm going to put a few little stars on the inside of the screen as well. <laughs> This is just what I just think it looks nice and the light shines through it. We don't have to do this. Okay, look at that. And now what we need for our first is a character. So we're going to now make a little fox character. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now we're going to make a little puppet for the theatre. We're going to make a little fox. So you've got a template for the box on this piece of paper. So I'm going to first cut out all the bits. But you don't know, when I say I'm going to cut out, I'm just going to cut out the whole the bits all together. And then I'm just going to loosely glue it onto some orange card. This will, I think, make it a bit easier, the whole process. So it's just very loosely stuck on the card. Now, you can cut it out together without the bits of paper flying around. So you've got a choice with this box. You can either make a paper tail or you can make a fluffy tail with this orange feather. So I'm going to show you both. First I'm going to cut out the different bits. So you've got the head, the legs, the body. Right, this is a little, so I've cut out all my pieces, and this is the little tricky bit at the end, it's just to make the eyes so that they pop out when they're on the screen, you can see, it gives the fox a little bit of expression. So I'm going to cut out that main big circle that's on the template, so you can cut at the side here, it doesn't matter because you're going to stick it back together with sellotape. So imagine like he's wearing a pair of glasses and you've just gone in at the side and you're cutting out the glasses frame. So cut out one eye there, and I'm going to do the same for the other eye here. I'm just going to go at the side and then cut out the circle. So yeah, like I said, it looks a bit funny because it's moving everywhere, but you're going to fix it together with sellotape after. So you can have a shape like that. Now I'm going to together with the sellotape again. Like so now it's one piece without those cut bits. And now I've got a platform to put my little pupils on. So you've got these little black stickers here. So you can take one, put it on the on the eye. So I've got them looking down now. You know, it's, it's nice because you can give them an expression, a cheeky little expression. And a bit more character. So it's like that. And now I'm going to put the bits together. So I'm going to stick the ears onto the head. That was the tricky bit, the eyes. And now I'm just going to assemble all the body parts together.
basically. And so I put all the bits together, and like I said, you've got a choice. You can either put the fluffy feather to be the tail, which I, I think is quite cute, or you can put the, the paper version on. I'm going to use the fluffy tail. I'm going to stick it down with some sand tape. tissue paper and a lolly stick for the handle afterwards. We also need the template to start with which was on that template sheet. So I'm going to cut out the template. just fold it so it's enough to make half the rocket. And then I'm just going to draw around my template. is on the fold of the paper and then I'm going to cut out my own clip. tissue paper over the window and going to make some fire at the bottom as well with the tissue paper. So I'm just going to glue onto the... the okay, I'm going to stick the tissue paper at the bottom of the rocket. and the light shines through it as well. And I'm going to now attach the stick to it with some sellotape. Okay, and there's your rocket. Okay, as well as your fox and your rocket, another little idea you can have is to make you can use with this tissue paper, this can be a sun shape, so you can use that on the screen to go up to show the rising sun. You can also use this circle to cut out a black circle with the remaining black paper, and you can use it to cover your screen on top, and then when you move it, you'll see it can form, it can, it can look like the crescent of the moon and the changing shape of the moon. So I'm just going to cut that up. This is the, the black circle, and when you move it across, you're going to see it's going to make a lovely changing moon shape. So we've made all our pieces now, and later we're going to go into a dark room so I can show you how it all works. But what I just want to explain how um, an idea that I had would be that you could have your little fox character at the bottom. This could be a moon shape. 
and you could make a story about how he's trying to get to the moon. What does he use to get to the moon? He may make a he may make a rocket for himself. Might be quite nice when you show the rocket appearing slowly from the landscape. And then you can show the fox actually in the moon later when he gets there. And then, like I said as well, it's quite nice when you show the shape of the moon changing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into a dark room and you're going to see how, how nice this all is when it's illuminated. What we're going to use to, to light up the screen is a mobile phone. If you put it onto the torch setting, it's quite a nice little space here where you can prop your phone and then it will light up the screen. You've also got, if you haven't got a phone, there is actually also a little torch in your box as well that you could use. Okay, so we're going to go into a dark room now. Right, so I've got my characters. We're ready for our shadow theatre. Um, I've got my rocket, my fox. I've got a little orange circle to represent the sun and the black for the moon, changing the shape. I can have the sun during the daytime on the screen. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a little nocturnal scene. So it's going to be at night and our fox is a little nocturnal animal. And the thing about foxes is they're very curious and very crafty. So we've got a little fox here and what he notices is that when he goes out at night, the moon above him is always following him wherever he goes. And not only that, also changing shape this moon. I've got I can put this little circle here, you can pop it in at the back and you can see that it changes the shape of the moon. So you've got a lovely crescent there. You can actually move it across to show the moon changing and becoming a full moon at the end. So our little fox character, he wants to know what that big white circle is up in the sky. So he decides to make, let's see what he's going to make, he decides to make a rocket. Here we go, the rocket is coming up, about to be launched, it's going up into the sky to find out what that big white circle is. Not only that, inside the rocket was our little friend the fox. And now he's on the moon and he can tell us all about it, what's actually there. And this would be a good opportunity you could make a little alien. Maybe he meets an alien on the moon or something else. So you can make that when you've got lots of you know black papers, some extra paper, you've got tissue paper. So these are your main characters and then you can do whatever you like. <laughs>